All right, guys, my name is Carlos. Now, a while back, I built a PC. I don't know if you guys remember, maybe you guys haven't, but my PC doesn't really have a lot of hard drive space. So, Corsair was so awesome enough to shoot me some Corsair Force LE 480 gigabytes SSD. So they sent me two over. Now, here's where it becomes very interesting because I wanna make a RAID 0 configuration using these two hard drives because I want more speed on my computer and I wanna install Windows on it. So my other SSD is gonna be pretty much a scratch disk and my one terabyte is gonna be a backup drive. So that's where I'm gonna keep all of my really safe files, pictures, all of that, family pictures, you know, gotta keep them safe. Oh, before I get started, they also sent me some fans. I know you guys can see them on my computer. So I needed some cooling on my computer and they also sent me over some fans. All the links will be down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out their products. And thank you again, Cursor, for hooking me up. All right, now, when it comes to a RAID 0 configuration, you always wanna have the same hard drive. So same hard drive, same brand, same gigabyte storage, all that stuff. So pretty much I have that complete. It's a Corsair Force LE. 480 gigabyte hard drive. So I have two of them, it's exactly the same, and we're gonna do a RAID 0. So what exactly is a RAID 0 configuration? Well, the best way I can explain it is in cartoons. You guys ever watch Dragon Ball Z? You have one Saiyan, another Saiyan, then they do the fusion dance, and they fuse together and become more powerful. That's what a RAID 0 configuration is pretty much gonna be. You're gonna get more read and write speeds on your computer, so it's gonna be a lot more faster. And the only caveat to this is if one of them fails, all of your data is lost. That's the only downside to this. But of course, I live life on the edge, so let's go ahead and create a RAID 0 configuration on my computer. All right, so this RAID configuration setup pretty much varies from computer to computer. Why? Because a lot of manufacturers use different types of motherboards and BIOS. So this is specifically for the ASUS. I'm pretty sure you could apply this to any other motherboard. So hopefully it works. If not, I'll leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you the best I can. So I'm running an ASUS X99A motherboard and it's pretty much really easy. All you have to do is just boot up into the BIOS, go into the easy tuning software and right there you can see RAID and all you have to do is just click it and enable it, then it's gonna restart the computer. And then from there, you go back into the same settings, into the easy tuning software. And from there, you can select RAID again, and it's gonna detect your hard drives. So from here, you just wanna select your hard drives, tell it what kind of RAID configuration you want. So of course, I want a RAID 0, none of the other RAIDs. Hit OK, and just click Next, and boom, you're good to go. See how simple it is to create a RAID configuration? It's probably the easiest thing you can do on your computer nowadays. It used to be a lot more complicated in the good old days, but now these manufacturers make it so easy for you to set up a RAID 0 configuration. So this is gonna be my main boot drive, so here's where I'm gonna install Windows. And to install Windows is pretty much really easy. I found this out the hard way, and it turns out that Windows 10 actually registers the key to your motherboard. So whenever you wanna reinstall Windows again, it's pretty much registered onto the motherboard, the key. You don't have to do none of the activation process or enter in that long key. Well, it turns out that Microsoft actually lets you download the Windows 10 ISO straight from their website. So that's exactly what I did. I transferred the ISO to my USB thumb drive and I installed Windows that way. It detected my RAID setup really quickly and of course, since this is using two 480 gigabyte SSDs, they're both combined to create a 930, I believe. I'm terrible with math. There'll probably be an annotation somewhere around here correcting me. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's really simple to create a RAID 0 configuration. I don't see why anybody should have any trouble doing this. If you guys do, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you the best way I can. I will also link videos from other people doing RAID 0 configurations from different BIOS, different motherboards, and hopefully that helps you out. So all the links will be down below in the description. And again, huge thanks to Corsair for hooking me up with some fans and SSD for my computers. Make sure you guys check out the products. All the links will be down below in the description. So this pretty much does it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, make sure you guys tell me down below in the comments and smack that like button. Also, subscribe for more future content like this. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Snapchat at MobileCarlos. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.